In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And so, through the power of the Holy Spirit, the Word became flesh in the form of Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior. All man and all God, making him the perfect sacrifice, the perfect example, and the perfect teacher. As the perfect teacher, as was the custom, he came to the temple to teach where the Pharisees and Sadducees sought to discredit and sidetrack him with the woman caught in the act of adultery. That Jesus, the Jesus refused to come. He then returned to his teaching. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. And whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The Pharisees challenged him. Jesus answered. Even if I testify of all that my testimony is valid. I know where I'm coming from. And I know where I'm going. But you have no idea where I come from. Or where I am going. You judge by him and stand it. I pass judgment on no one. But if I do judge, my decisions are true. Because I am not alone. I stand with the Father who sent me. And your whole law is written as a testimony of two witnesses. It's true. I am one who testifies for myself. My Father, my other witness is the Father who sent me. Then they asked him. Will he kill himself? Is that why I'm saying where we go, you cannot? Where is your father? You don't know me or my father. Jesus replied. If you knew me, you would know my father also. He spoke these words while teaching in the temple courts near the place where the orphans were put. Yet no one seized him because his hour had not yet come. Once more, Jesus said to them, I am going away. You will look for me. You will die in your sin. Where I go, you cannot come. This made the Jews ask, Will he kill himself? Where he go, we cannot. But he continued. You are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sin. If you do not believe that I am he, you will indeed die in your sin. Who are you? They asked. That's what I have been telling you from the beginning. Jesus replied. I have much to say to you in judgment. But he who sent me is trustworthy. What I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not understand that he was telling them about his father. To the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, if you, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciple. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him. We are Abraham's descendants. How can you say that we shall be set free when we have never been slaves of anyone? Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now, a slave has no permanent place in the family, but the son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's descendant. Yet you are looking for a way to kill me because you have no room for my word. I am telling you what I have seen in the Father's presence, and you are doing what you heard from your father. Mm. The answer? If you were Abraham's children, said Jesus, then you would do what Abraham did. As it is, you are looking for a way to kill him. A man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do such things. You are doing the work of your own father. We are not eligible to kill They protested. <laughs> Jesus said to them, if God were your father, you would love me. For I have come here from God. I have not come on my own. God said, Why is my language not clear to you? 
because you are unable to hear what I say. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father lies. Yet because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Can any of you prove me guilty of sin? If I am telling the truth, why don't you believe me? Whoever belongs to God hears me. Here's what God said. The reason why you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. Jesus was speaking to the Pharisees about the past predictions of his coming, yet they did not understand him. The Pharisees learned the law of Moses, but did not have the relationship with God. Had they studied their history, meditated on the word of God, sought his will, and desired a relationship with him, God's Holy Spirit would have guided them in the truth of the law and the truth behind the filling of the law. Virginia to the Gulf, never to see each other again. 